Right, let's, um, let's talk a little bit about drawing. And drawing starts off with the idea that everything, no matter what sort of thing you have, everything is made up of shapes. And the shapes are reasonably fairly simple. I've just got three objects over here. And if we can look at each of these objects in turn, looking at them in a certain angle, they're all kind of made up of shapes. So we've got a square shape. We've got a circular shape over here, and I could trace that circle shape if I wanted to. But if I want to draw a circle, a circle has a centre. Just plot the centre, go from either side, mark out around the edges roughly where you think that circle is going to be so that all the radiuses are equidistant. And then you can turn the page around if you want because your hand has a natural flow and you can create a reasonably accurate circle. So use the natural twist of your wrist to create a sh to be able to take advantage of drawing shapes that look like they're reasonably circular. Now straight lines. Let's talk about straight lines a bit. If you want to draw a straight line, don't try and draw a straight line by moving your hand like this by pivoting at your wrist. It's going to form an arc. Instead, pivot from your elbow or even from your shoulder and just draw, so my, my elbow is stiff, my wrist is stiff, and I'm just drawing straight lines like that. You can give that a go. So it wrist is stiff, arm is stiff, and just try drawing straight lines. You can make them across the other way, like this. And don't be afraid about making mistakes. A lot of people, when they start drawing, they're not used to it, they'll try and hedge their bets by drawing lots of little lines to try and get a straight line. I call that the furry beast. Just do a nice straight line all the way across. Be bold. Be confident. Now if you want to join two bits, say for example we've got this shape over here, we want to draw that shape, it's kind of looking at it from this angle, it's like a rectangle here, and then it's got a sort of a chopped off triangle at the bottom. So let's do our rectangle first. There's the rectangular section, so that's that section over here, there's the rectangle. And now we've got this triangular section. So let's work out the halfway. It's going to be like that. So it's in the middle. It's a symmetrical shape. And we've got a distance, and the distance is going to be sort of like that. Now I've got to join from these two edges to a certain distance, which will be the bottom edge. So from there to there. I'm looking at that. I'm going, I think that's about from there to there. And now I'm going to draw my lines across. Now they're straight lines. If I want to start at one point, finish at another, practice a little bit. And then once you're certain, draw your line. Do the same thing here. Turn the paper a bit. See, I'm twisting it to make it easy for my hand. Move the paper around rather than you moving around. So it's from here to here. There it is. And now we've got roughly what that shape looks like. It's only a sample. Now, um, uh, the other shape that you often meet up with are things like triangles. So for a triangular shape, well... We've almost got a triangle sitting over here, like that. So again, if I wanted to draw this shape, looking at it from the side, I'd have a rectangle here, down the bottom. There's the rectangle. Then I'd have sort of like a triangle cut off, and another square, and some more little shapes. And all of it is symmetrical about an axis. So if I want to draw that shape, looking at it from the side, the first thing that I'd do is I'd say, okay, well, it's the central axis. There it is. And then I'm going to start the object down the bottom over here. I'll decide it's going to be about that high. And then my next little stage is looking at it will be about this high. And then there's another section up here, a couple of little more sections, and then the top of it. So there's my different sort of heights of the object. I'm making it a little bit bigger than what it is, so it's easier for you to see. Maybe I'll go from this side, but I'm not left-handed. Okay. And then I'll start to draw my my widths. So I think it's symmetrical, so I'm going to make it go from here to here. And now I've got a shape that's going to go across like that. Next I've got a triangular sur surface like we did up here. Join those two lines. One, two. I've got another little rectangular section which looks like a rectangle. If I hold it up to you about there, you can see that it's sort of like a rectangle. So there it is there. I'm not looking for accuracy, I'm looking for a visual representation of what this object would look like. 
and then I'm going to go across here, make another little rectangle, that's that top one up here, join it up, another one here, and lastly, a little spout at the top. And that's what that shape looks like. If I wanted to make it look a bit more three-dimensional, I can imagine a light source coming from one side here, like that. And I can colour. The parts closer to the light will be brighter. The parts further away will be darker. And I can just use some parallel lines to give that impression. Straight away, the object starts looking more three-dimensional. Okay, so we've got circles, rectangles, we'll have triangles, you know, and these lines that I'm drawing here are called construction lines. So construction lines give us a point of reference that we can draw on, and we usually drew them, draw them in a, in a lighter, lighter line format. So they're not as heavy. I'm losing a pen because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. But more complicated shapes can easily be broken down into um, circles and squares. Like, for example, this shape here. It's a more complicated shape. But if I look at it carefully, I can think, okay, I've got um, various shapes here. I've got a triangular looking shape sitting down over here. So if I were to draw it a little bit like this to show its shape, I'm going to have a center line roughly there. And I can say, all right, well, this is this is almost like a, a triangle here. There it is. There. And there. This middle section is more squarish. There it is. And the last little section trails off to another triangle, down sort of to here and to here. And then I've got a little hollow section over there. So that's just like two circles joined by a square, like that. And then um, I've got the approximate shape. Now I can smoothen that shape out if I want to a little bit later to make it look more fluid, to represent the shape that I've done a little bit better. But I've got guidelines to work on. And of course inside you can see other little shapes appearing and so forth. They're circles and gears and bits and pieces. But um, just to indicate to you that all of these, there's a straight line there, all of these, most shapes can be represented as triangles, squares or circles, or some combination of those. So if you can draw a triangle, if you can draw a square, and if you can draw a circle, even if it's not exactly perfectly round, you can draw almost any shape.